It's the second day of the new block. I'm taking a microeconomic theory class, uh, which is gonna be the most math intensive class I take for the rest of my college career, which is exciting, but also daunting at the same time. was not easy. This is definitely going to be a struggle class, which is fine. I'm used to that with math and econ stuff. Today's a rest day in terms of heavy lifting, so I'm going to go now to burn off some steam after that class. My bi-weekly jog, that's what I'm calling it. I think twice a week on my rest days, I'm going to do my little jog. <laughs> Check out this edible garden I found on my run. This is so awesome. Some tomatoes. Hashtag college town when you find a leopard print bra on the side of the road. Just got back from my run. Oh yeah! Hey, I'm headed to the grocery store now because I'm gonna embark on another food eating challenge, vegan food challenge tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna be close to like as intense as the 10K or anything like that, but it'll be fun and we'll see. to a screen printing class. I signed up for a little afternoon, twice a week class to learn how to do screen printing. Kind of like this shirt right here, which I did not make, but some CC student did. Um, and I wanna talk about the role of art in my life still. Um, if you don't know, I started my college career out at a art school, at a strict art school. Um, and I soon learned that that wasn't the exact environment I wanted to be in for my college education, but I was really into ceramics and glass and sculpture and thought that's what I wanted to do with my life. And then when veganism came around, I decided I want to become an activist and an advocate. Um, going to art school didn't seem my path, so that's why I left. But it doesn't mean that it's not an integral part in my activism in life still. It's actually a huge part. If you think about it, every single thing I do um, in terms of communicating with you guys, the audience, is through something you could call art. From my video making to my Instagram, you know, food photography. Um, even the podcast, I'm editing content together and presenting myself in a way that you can call artful. So art is still a crucial part of my life and being an artist can be a huge activist move. I mean, look at any social justice movement. It's always linked to some iconic image or graphic design um, or song that artists put together in order to get their message across. So how do I facilitate art in my life? As I said, video making, photography, but also I do stuff that has nothing to do with veganism that's important to me in order to let out my creativity, like making pottery and drawing, things that just sort of allow my mind to work in new alternative ways so that I can be a better person and worker in all my different fields in life, from relationships to schoolwork to academics and to activism. Let's go to screen printing class. Oh. All the materials are but... <laughs> Got my screen made. Documenting the whole journey. 
So if I wanted to do... Here's what I drew. Pretty cool. So every year the like main building gets converted for like three days to this poster shop for all the college students to buy their dorm room posters. See if there's any good ones. No, it's for environmental policy major. Oh yeah. It's one of, one of the requirements. I mean, it's... Oh my gosh, these are like really three-dimensional. Whoa. Hello, chickpea, tofu, broccoli, curry. Pretty much every single day this block, I will be in the library from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. when there's free econ and math tutoring. Ugh. Yeah, oh my god, that's why you do that. Did you take it? It's not that bad. Uh, 3.17, I don't know if I can help you. Oh my gosh. It's raining. All right, quick Q&A. It's bedtime for me. I was about to go to bed and I realized I forgot to do the Q&A and I definitely got questions from y'all. So let's hit it. Searching through the YouTubes. Okay, I have a question from Aaron, A-I-R-O-N. That's an interesting way to spell Aaron. Um, Notrella. Question, do you consider sugar to be vegan? Why or why not? I see ab... I, I truly see absolutely no possible way that sugar could not be vegan. Um, sugar is absolutely vegan. It does not come from an animal product. So yes, all sugar, coconut sugar, cane sugar um, is 100% vegan. Are you, are you asking me if it's healthy? Because don't, we, we should not start substituting the word healthy and vegan as the same thing. There's tons of unhealthy vegan foods. Coca-Cola and Oreos are vegan, not healthy. Do I think sugar is healthy, if that's what you're asking? I don't use like refined cane sugar in my day-to-day -day life. I brew kombucha and that has sugar in it, which I drink from time to time. Um, sugar is not a part of my diet, but I know some people that do eat it and um, I don't think it's a terrible thing. No, I, I, I really don't. All right, Sam P asks me, is the smell of fresh cannabis overtaking the awful dog food stench at the airport in Denver? Um, no? Um, all right, Raul Uka asked me if my podcasts are available on Android and why are they the only last 10? Okay, I have 51 episodes now and frickin' it can only post the top 10 episodes. I, I don't know how to change it. I know you can get it up to 50, and I promise I will email people and try to get tech support to do that, but every single episode is available for everyone on plantriotic.com, all 51, but I really want to get them all on iTunes, so give me some time with the Android thing. I honestly don't even freaking know. I know they just go on iTunes. If you can get iTunes on Android, then you can listen to them. If not, I'm sorry, you gotta do it through the website. A lot of people also ask if Izzy and I are officially dating. Yes, of course we're dating. I guess we didn't, we never explicitly talked about it, but through the Berkeley vlogs, we were kissing and having fun with each other and I visited her. Yes, she's my girlfriend. It's amazing. We're gonna change the world. We're vegan, vlogging, YouTube rock stars. Uh, Tunji Oyebade asked me, how did you guys find such cool vegan places? I've been to Berkeley and never heard of Berkeley Bowl. 
Um, well, Izzy is like in love with Berkeley Bowl, so that's how I heard about it. I don't know, you just ask other vegans, you go to vegan meetups, you search it online, and you find places in any city. Uh, Hannah Spicer uh, talked asking about the sensory deprivation tank vlog and the Berkeley Adventures vlog, which is a great one. Uh, how long were you in the tank for? I'm thinking about doing a tank session, but did it get boring slash old at all? So I was in the tank for about 70 minutes, a little over an hour, and to ask if it was boring is like asking if meditation is boring. You don't meditate in order to like have an entertaining time. You meditate because you know it's a productive like activity that you're working hard towards trying to focus your mind in order to get the benefits of it. That's how I looked at the sensory deprivation tank. Like I wasn't going in there just to have a good hour with myself. I wanted to try to meditate and experience something with such little stimulation around. So, but my experience was for the first like 30 minutes, I was super tuned in. After that 30 minutes, it almost felt like a blink of an eye. I was totally in a meditation, very focused. And then the last 30 was kind of just me floating around. And no, I enjoyed it. It's like feeling like nothing else. So you should definitely do it. All right, that's the Q&A for this week. Leave more questions in the comments below and I'll answer them next Wednesday. <sighs> Hello, everybody. It's about 11 p.m. I am currently cooking in the pressure cooker. It's actually just depressurizing now. A bunch of sushi rice because I'm embarking on a food challenge tomorrow. No, it's not the 10,000 calorie challenge. I plan on never doing that again or not doing it again until I forget how bad it was the first time. Um, but I'm doing a more minor, just one meal food challenge. Um, there's gonna be more of these videos coming out and I'm gonna be telling you why I'm doing this. And I think it's a smart trajectory and we'll see how it goes. Um, they'll be posted in a few weeks, but um, I'll keep it secret now, but you can follow me on Snapchat, Plantriotic, and check, and I'll document the food challenge tomorrow um, and let you guys know how it goes on Snapchat. Just follow me over there. Um, today was a really awesome, busy day. You know, I feel really good about getting into that screen printing class. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that, make a bunch of vegan shirts, maybe even sell them if I make a bunch. That'd be super cool, like vegan Plantriotic shirts. So that'll be fun. Dream Extreme, much love, people. See you guys soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.